Okay, let us look at uh, question number 15. So, again the same question we have uh, trader 1 with 100 left shoes and trader 2 with 99 uh, right shoes and we have to find the equilibrium allocation for uh, trader 2. Okay, so uh, this is the endowment point here. This is agent A. The y axis represents the amount of left shoes. Okay, so let us uh, draw the uh, line of vertices for both the agents. So, line of vertices for agent A uh, will reach this point here. So, it will look like this. This is a uh, line of vertices of agent A. Okay. Similarly, for agent B, it will start from here and it will end uh, here. So, I can draw this line as this. So, since the entire edge wheel box is not an exact square, so that is why these uh, line of vertices are different. So, this is line of vertices of agent B. Okay. Now, consider any particular uh, uh, budget line. Okay. So, take any budget line for instance with uh, uh, with a finite slope. So, it is not an infinite or zero slope, it is a finite slope like this. So, suppose this is the budget line. Okay. So, this is the demand for agent A, uh, sorry demand for agent B. So, this is the amount of uh, uh, right shoes which agent A, agent B demands and this is, sorry this is left shoes. This is y coordinate is left shoe. So, this is left shoe of B and this is right shoe of B and similarly this is the point of demand for agent A. So, this is uh, right shoes of A and this is the left shoe of A. So, basically the amount of left shoe demanded is this, the amount of right shoe demanded is this and the amount of right shoe demanded here is this, the amount of left shoe demanded is this. So, as you can see there is a total uh, excess demand. So, this is the amount of excess demand for right shoes. Okay. So, there exists an excess demand for right shoes. Okay. And uh, this much is the excess supply of left shoe. So, nobody is, so if you add up this amount with this amount, you will see that in the total amount, there is going to be a shortage of this much of demand. So, there is a total excess supply for left shoes. Okay. So, whatever price you start with, whatever finite price you start with, you should keep saying that the price of uh, left shoe keep, should keep on falling because there is an excess supply. So, whenever there is an excess supply, price of left uh, that particular commodity should keep on falling and price of right shoe should keep on increasing because there is an excess demand. So, since price of left shoe keeps falling for every finite PL value, it should ultimately be that price of left shoe becomes equals to 0. Okay. So, essentially left shoe shoe will become for free. So, now that left shoes are free, uh, agent B with ha, has positive endowment. So, in monetary terms, this left shoes are free. So, trader 1 is basically uh, impoverished. Okay? So, he is very poor. Everything that he has, has no price value in the market. And trader 2 with 99 right shoes can choose to demand as much as he wants because he has a commodity with a positive price and the other guy has a commodity with zero price in the market. So, the one with positive price is getting a free thing. So, he can demand it as much as he wants. So, uh, how much will he demand? So, he has 99 right shoes. So, he can demand either 99 left shoes or anything more than that. So, anything more than 99 left shoes will give him a total utility of uh, 99. So, he will demand at least 99 left shoes.